Oh, here's another one. Getting close to hatching. It's so cool. The other one next to it has some peeping holes. Yeah, come on, baby. You're so close. Oh, this, one. this one I thought was empty, but no, there's a baby there. Really close to coming out. So we got these three right close together here. Look what we have. Round two of quail babies. I'll tell you more about what happened with the first round. But we got a lot in here. We need to move and get into their new brooder. So we'll keep you posted. Hey everybody, time to move the quail. We've got a incubator full of babies. Let's see if we can, they're fast little buggers. So let's see what we can do. Hi right, babies. They're so fast. Don't you come out, mister. These little guys are trying to get out. Don't get out of the box. Stay in there. None of them are too wet, do they? Stay in there. No, they're looking pretty good. Looking pretty dry. Oh, it's all done. This one. Uh, stay in the box, babies. We're going to move you to a bigger area. Okay. Now we're going to move them into their brooder area with the heat lamp. Oh, that little guy's going to jump out. He's right up on the edge. How many? 26. Wow, 26 already out of 40. So we have 26 baby quail so far out of 40 eggs. We're going to clean out all the um, empty shells and see what we have left. Um, just to go over some care for baby quail, we've put some little marbles in their water so that they can't drown. And we also have ground their feed so that it's easy for them to eat. And they tend to like to sit in the in the uh, feed. I'm not sure why, but it's a very nice, squishy place. Oh, he's already eating. Um, we're not going to... Oh, that one's already drinking. That's really cool. We decided not to dip their beaks this time. Um, ben said that when they haven't been traveling or they're not um, dehydrated, that that's not necessary. So we'll keep an eye on them and make sure that's true. Make sure everybody, a little guy peeping. This one's already sleeping. <laughs> so, I did say that this is round two of our baby quail. I just wanted to let you know that we had quite the tragedy um, 21, 22 days ago. It takes them that long to hatch, and uh, we lost the whole batch of quail babies that we had hatched out. Um, we're not sure why, but all of a sudden within about an hour, they all passed and uh, we were just devastated and didn't know what happened. So we got some more eggs and now we have a new round of quail babies. And um, we'll see how these do. Should have some more hatching out in the next day or so. But these all hatched out today since last night. This one's really working hard. Who's that one? Oh, the one next one. Let's see, moving too. There you go. 
You can hear him peeping. Got the shell on top of him. There he goes. So we made it out of the shell. And now he's just drying off and resting. He's doing a great job. Good job, baby bird. Oh, he's got like a little string stuck to the shell. He's pulling her around. I'm gonna open it and just break that little membrane. There you go. You're free. So we have quite a few more in there to see if they hatch out either today or tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thank you.